Hello everyone, my name is Karthik. I am from 3rd CSEA. Today we will be discussing about deploying a servlet. So first, what is a servlet? A servlet is a Java programming class which is used to extend the capabilities of a server. The first step is to download and install Apache Tomcat. Apache Tomcat is an open source web server which is used to test servlets and JSP technology. After you install Tomcat, Step 1. Create a directory structure for your application. Step 2. Create a servlet. Step 3. Compile the servlet. Step 4. Create deployment descriptor for your application. And the last step is start the server and deploy the application. Now Step 1. Creating the directory structure. Let's assume the name of our application is first. Then our fo first folder contains static resources such as CSS, images, audio files, etc. and a HTML file and web INF folder. In this folder, we'll have a lib folder, a classes folder which contains myserver.class file and a XML file. I am going to explain how to create a servlet. Under the servlet deployment, the second step is creating a servlet. The API servlet is provided to the programmer in two packages. The first one is java x.servlet and second one is java x.servlet.http. The ways to develop a servlet. First one is by implementing the servlet, servlet interface and second one is by extending the generic servlet class and the third one is http servlet class. In servlet packages, there are two packages available. There are java x.servlet and java x.servlet.http. In java x.servlet, there are several interfaces and classes. So interfaces are servlet, servlet request, servlet response, servlet configure, and servlet context, and response request dispatcher. The classes are generic servlet. In the package java x.servlet.http, we are also having interfaces and classes. The first interface is HTTP servlet request, HTTP servlet response, and HTTP session. The class included is HTTP servlet. Servlet interface. It belongs to the Java x.servlet package, which includes five methods which are to be implemented. The first method is void init. It initializes, it creates and initializes service method. It carries out a response and request. Void destroy. It cancels out all the resources which are held. String get servlet info. It returns the information in the string format. This is the simple program of creating a servlet. In this, we use three packages. They are Java X dot servlet and Java X dot servlet dot HTTP and Java dot IO for input and outputs. Here we are using the my servlet, which ex extends the HTTP servlet. We are using a function called do get, which takes the parameters like HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response which throws the exceptions of servlet exception and IO exceptions. Here we use pw.println to print on the web pages, not on the system desktop. We use java c space my servlet dot java to compile the java program. It generates the dot class file in the classes folder which we have created. Now let us see the first step that is creating a deployment descriptor. Deployment descriptor is nothing but a uh, web.xml file. This web.xml file should be located in the web-inf directory. Here let me show how to write a web.xml file. Here the root tag is web app and here there are two child tags that is servlet and servlet mapping. In servlet here I have a servlet name as my servlet and servlet class as my servlet. Here the servlet class name should be the same as a java servlet class name. In servlet mapping, I have used the servlet name as my servlet. Here, the servlet name in servlet tag and servlet mapping should be the same. And here, the URL pattern is slash my servlet. It should be the same URL pattern that you are used in the form tag of a HTML document. Now, let us see the fifth step. Start the server and deploy the application. Now, let us see the deployment of the servlet. For this, go to File Explorer, open C drive. Then here, click on the program files. Here, you will find Apache Software Foundation. Click on it. Click on Tomcat 8.5. Now open web apps. Here you have to create your project folder. Here I have named my project folder as Hello World. 
in this there are two files uh, web-inf folder and also index.html file in web-inf folder you have to create three files classes folder live and also web.xml file now you have to open classes in classes you have to write your .java file and also compile it now go to apache software foundation click on tomcat 8 find file open bin now start your tomcat server after you find this to uh, the milliseconds here it means that your servlet has started now open a browser in url bar type localhost colon 8082 hit enter now open manager app here you have to provide the username and password that you have given by installing the tomcat server click on sign in here i have named my project as hello world so here we can see the hello world folder click on it this is the index.html file that i have created click on go this is the output that we will see when we execute the .xml file